Max Sejo Animations. Contactor. A contactor is an electrical controlled switch used for switching an electrical power circuit. Contactors are designed to be directly connected to high current load devices. Unlike general purpose relays, which are usually designed for both normally closed and open applications. But how does these contactors work? Internal structure of a contactor consists of three main parts. That is, electromagnetic system, the contact system, and arc extinguishing system. Electromagnetic system is composed of a coil, a static iron core and armature also called moving iron core. The coil is energized by an alternating current through terminals A1 and A2, which creates a magnetic field that attracts the armature to the static iron core. This causes the contact system of the contactor to either close or open the circuit. The contact system is made of power contacts and auxiliary contacts. The power contacts are used for the main circuit that carries a large current, while the auxiliary contacts are used for the control circuit that carries a small current. The contacts are usually double breakpoint, bridge contacts, which means they have two contacts points on each. The auxiliary contacts normally has, normally close, and normally open. When the coil is energized, normally close contact becomes open contact, while normally open becomes closed contact. Contactors also contains the arc extinguishing equipment for reducing arc generated when the contact separates. More information about arc fumes check our video on circuit breaker. When you have contactors, there are some testing which very necessary, which is called continuity testing. Testing the continuity of contactor is important, since it helps us to know if the device is in good condition. Continuity testing is a method of checking electrical continuity of a circuit or device. It is performed by using multimeter or A continuity tester, which are device which measures resistance or voltage drop across a circuit or device. And the basic principle of continuity testing is that a circuit or device that is continuous has low resistance or a low voltage drop. By setting the multimeter to ohm, one can measure the resistance and the voltage drop between two points and helps in determine if the contactor is continuous or not. The contactor of NC has low resistance before coil is energized while NO has low resistance when coil is energized. This is the basic working principle of contactor. Note that the contactor does not break the circuit by itself. It holds the circuit. For it to work efficiently, contactor is attached with overload relay. Check out our next video on thermal overload relay to see how it is achieved. I hope you found this video informative and if you do, kindly subscribe, like and share our channel. You can also sponsor and promote our videos. Also, I'm available for any design and graphics work as a freelancer, majorly product design, 